Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're going to be learning Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah. And this lesson is going to be part one, which is our free lesson for rockclass101.com. We're going to be learning the intro to this arrangement. And if you guys enjoy this lesson, you can go to rockclass101.com, sign up for premium membership, and you can print the complete tab to this song as well as get access to part two of the lesson, which covers the rest of the arrangement, and we'll learn it step by step, just like we're learning the intro right now. And you guys also get access to an interactive tab player, which is really neat because you can watch the YouTube performance video at the same time as watching the tab play. So everything happens in real time. So you can see the notes played while watching it on the tab. So it's really cool. So all that comes with premium membership, as well as you get access to all the other tunes we have in our ukulele song section. So let's go ahead and get started with how to play the intro for Hallelujah. So guys, for the intro, we have a triplet rhythm. So it's an eighth note triplet rhythm. So what that means is that we have four sets of three notes. So basically, think of it as you have four times three, which is 12 notes per measure. So basically it's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, and then the next measure, right? So that's going to be our rhythm throughout this entire intro. So the chords we're going to be making are probably going to be new to you as well, because they're not the standard um, cowboy chords is what we like. I like to call them. So our first one is going to be um, a variation on an A minor. And it's basically just going to be your first finger on the second fret of string four and then your ring finger on the third fret of string one, okay? So we're gonna be playing a pattern out of this chord and strings three and two are gonna be open. So basically we're gonna go four and two together and then we're gonna pick string one and then string four, okay? So that gives us our first set of the triplet, okay? So after that, we're going to go ahead and play string two and then string one. And then we're going to go back to string four. After that, I'm going to hit string four again, string two, string one, and then I'm going to hit four and one together, and then two, one. So think of this first bar as two sections, right? So the first section we had Okay, the second section we have, so the second section again was four, two, one, then four and one together, two, one. So again, all together we have, okay, and I'm just using these three fingers for playing. So you basically you think of it as like, um, String four will be the thumb, and then uh, index finger will get string two, and then um, middle finger will get string one. Okay, so our next bar is going to be a diminished chord. So this one's actually really simple because um, our rhythm is just going to be straight three, two, one, straight three, two, one, or our picking pattern, I mean. So you're going to lay your first finger flat on the 3rd fret, strings 1, 2, and 3, and then put your ring finger on the 5th fret of uh, string 2, and we're going to go... So again, it's just going to be 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Right? Remember, four times, right, guys? Because we've got 8th note triplets in a 4-4 four, four timing. So let's put bars 1 and 2 together. Next one is going to be a really easy change. So this is bar three. We're going to be looking at a, another variation on A minor. And basically what I do is I drop my first finger down to that third fret on string one and then put my middle finger on the fourth fret of string three. And again, guys, I have a very simple picking pattern for the first three. It's just going to go three, two, one. 
Okay, on that fourth one, you're gonna hit that third string and it's gonna last twice as long and then you pick string one. So it'll sound like this put together. Okay, after that, we're going to go into a, um, a tritone. So this is a, um, a really interesting sounding um, interval. An interval just means the distance between two notes. So it has a lot of dissonance in it. So what I'm going to do, going from this A minor that we just made, is uh, take my first finger, put it back up on the third fret of string three, and then take my pinky, put it on the sixth fret of string one, while my ring stays constant, so I don't move that one at all. All right, so for this um, picking pattern, we're just gonna go three, two, one, just like we have been doing. But starting on the second time around, you're gonna go three, and then you're gonna pluck strings one and two twice. So this bar will sound like. Okay, so let's recap, guys. Now we've got the first four bars, so sound like this slowly. So going from this tritone, we're going to go to our, put our middle finger on the fourth fret of string three, drop the index finger to lay as a partial bar on frets three on strings one and two. So basically you can think of, we just have the A chord shape of a C major, right? So we're going to take this C and we're going to basically pick out of it and then walk our way down to a basic G chord. So what I have is this. So let's just take that. So we've got three, two, one, and then we're gonna play string three again. Put your ring on five on string three. Lift up, again. And then we go down to the basic G. And instead of using three fingers, I'm just gonna bar my index, okay? And then the last few notes are gonna be two, four, two on string three. So I have And again, I'm just keeping with my thumb playing every note on string three. Okay, so our next bar is gonna be, um, think of it like an F chord, right? The only difference is we're just not gonna play the fourth string at all. So we only need our index finger on fret one of string two. So this one's gonna be building um, an F chord. So basically, so building by meaning that we're kind of going higher with it, right? So this one is um, going to start with playing third, and then string two twice. Then third, string one twice. So again, okay, there's the first half. Then again, we're going to hit string three, put your pinky on the third fret of string one, and again, we hit that twice. And then again, string three, and we're actually gonna move this shape up to the fifth and the eighth fret. And we're gonna pluck those two strings. Okay, so when we move up, we actually have one more fret of a distance, right? Because we were doing one and three, if we moved one and three up to five and seven, we have to move our pinky up to eight. So you've got one extra fret of a stretch with that pinky finger. So I have open, fifth fret, eighth fret. So that bar will sound like. Okay. So premium members, now we're on page two and we're gonna actually pick up where we left off so we keep with this um, higher voicing of an F, which I've labeled F2 on the tab. And we're going to be basically doing the same third, pluck, pluck, third, pluck, pluck, third. So you do it a couple more times. So let's tie in that last bar going into the new bar on page two. Okay, 
So it's three times you can think of it all together plucking five and eight when we get up to that higher position on the neck, right? After that, it's going to do a slight little pause and we have G, C, right? So it'll sound like this. And going into that next part. So it's called, they call it a classic cadence. It's five to one, right? Is that kind of classic resolution of a chord. And the important thing to remember here is that um, we want to have a little bit of dynamics going on, right? So we want those hits to be a bit like ba ba, because the first part's real subtle. Like this whole intro has been subtle up until it gets to here, because it kind of builds. Right, so we want that next part to just be kind of more uh, emotional, more, more oomph in it, right? So that's basically our whole intro, guys. Let me go ahead and play it one time through slowly, and we can hear it put together. So that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the um, learning the intro with me. And if you want to learn the rest of the arrangement, check out rockclass101.com. Uh, premium membership is very affordable. And like I mentioned before, you get access to part two of this lesson, as well as the complete tabs that you can print out. And you get the interactive tab player. So you can watch the performance video or just listen to the audio of me playing and watch it scroll across the tab at the same time. And you can even loop bars and highlight it, slow it down, work it up to speed. It's really, really cool way to learn. So I hope to see you guys in class. Thanks.